as schools, we're supposed to be mini reflections of what the global community looks like and you can't have that without LGBTQ plus people. There were very few teachers around in my school and it was very difficult for me to see who I should be, who I could be or have a choice of what I really wanted to be. So I think representation is why the teachers should be a pride. We are the people who set the example and it's kind of like the first contact of positive role models. Parents say to their children that you should be yourself, follow yourself, don't follow the crowd, don't be a sheep, be brave, be independent. And um, how can these transgender children do that unless the laws allow them to identify themselves and give them the power to do that? As someone who's currently going through changing their name and looking at the changing my name by default, the current GRA, it's just completely put me off. I think it just has to be completely streamlined. Trans people can't do it alone and we need to be there to support them, we need to be there to help them and we need to make sure that we're being vocal about it as well. The way that I would support the, our trans students at school, and we've got about four of them that I know of, is by being the best teacher I can possibly be. We should be elevating voices within the transgender community and making sure that they're heard. It's the right thing to do. We want to live in a society where everybody has equal rights, and uh, I don't think we can call ourselves an equal, fair and just society if the most vulnerable people are being excluded from um, the most basic human rights, it's really pretty straightforward. I support trans and non-binary rights. I support trans and non-binary rights. We support trans and non-binary rights. I support trans and non-binary rights. Be our ally. Be our ally. Reform the GRA now.